something happened today and I think it was a misunderstanding, perhaps. I hope it is. But I got kind of hurt today. And you may say, Kevin, it seems like you get kind of hurt often. That may be true. Maybe <laughs> I am too sensitive or something. Maybe you should call me Soft Calf. Anyways, Soft Uncle Calf. All right. Anyways, I was hurt and not really mad, but perhaps irritated. And I was at a store and I believe the cashier said something to me, being nice to me. And for some reason, I wanted to take out my, is the word frustration? I wanted to take my, whatever that word is, irritation, whatever it is, on that person. Like I wanted to yell at that person. I wanted to like put my, I think it is frustration, right? I wanted to put my frustration on that person. That person did nothing wrong. That person said nothing wrong, but I was feeling hurt. I was feeling irritated, maybe mad. Maybe I was mad. Perhaps annoyed. But I wanted to like lay out that cashier as in like take out my anger or whatever that was upon that person when that person did nothing wrong and like it took restraint if i am saying that right i believe it took restraint strength i guess to hold back and I was surprised like what is wrong with me and that kind of made me think of some people who may take their anger out on you on others when you really did nothing to deserve that Maybe you did something little and maybe that person exploded on you more than what the incident was about, if you understand what I am saying. You may have a person like that. Like, let's say you say hi or, <laughs> or let's say you know, you cross their path and they may look at you like real mean and maybe even mess with you, maybe even mock you, maybe even treat you wrong. But hey, that person is probably dealing with something else. Probably they are angry, irritated or whatever about something else. And perhaps they are placing it upon you because why? Because you are there. Myself, that cashier didn't do anything wrong. But because I was feeling hurt and I guess a bit disturbed, I wanted to take it out on somebody. If I can feel that way. What about other people? What about your mother, uncle, daddy, cousin, brother, 
wife, husband, maybe they are doing the same thing. So I guess in cases like this, don't blame yourself all. Oh, maybe if I stop messing up, maybe that person won't get so mad at me. In cases like this, don't blame yourself. What you should do, which I do as well at times, pray for that person. Pray that God does something to where that person won't like really mess with you so much or whatever is going on. Seriously. I think if you have a person like that around you, like, overreacting, like breaking dishes and throwing things against the wall because you dropped your keys on the floor or something. So that person goes ballistic. If I am saying that right. I think that is a fault or that person may be dealing with something at that time period. So don't beat yourself up. Don't see yourself as less. Pray for that person. Try, I guess, try to be patient with that person if you can. If you can't, you may have to go somewhere away from that person for a while, perhaps. There was another time I was, um, let me make this kind of short. This person spoke to me in a certain way and I did not like it. So I told that person, hey, don't speak to me in that type of way anymore. And that person started to yell like real, like I was not expecting that. I don't think I was expecting that. That man, like, as it seems at the top of his lungs, some really outrageous stuff, saying this, saying that, and then I kind of raised my voice up too, but... That person just went on and on and on and on, like cussing and all this stuff here. And I was thinking, because I told you to not talk to me in a certain way, you gonna act like that? Like, I don't even know you too much. Like, I have known you maybe for a week or two and I think it was a week or two, maybe three, maybe not, maybe two weeks. And you can react like this to me when we don't really know each other and we haven't really gone through much things for you to react like that. I believe much of that or almost all of it probably came from what that person may be dealing with now or whatever. Very shocking, man. I'm like, what? Like, how can you yell at somebody like that? I guess in my past, I don't know if I would yell at people like that. Maybe. I don't know. Like, some really outrageous stuff. So I pray that this makes sense. And if you are the one doing stuff like this, check your anger. Don't give in to your anger. Hold back. Yes, it may seem hard. Yes, you may feel hurt, but hold back. Let me stop right here. God bless you.